you're going to ask that question, why would I loan out my BNB? Ah, the magic of this is that in a bull market, if you think BNB is going to go up, you can loan out your BNB, mint stablecoin, get into other projects, buy more BNB. BNB price goes up. You then can pay your loan back with basically with the gains that you've made outside of the system. Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow, crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Today's video is a tutorial on Venus Money Market, a decentralized marketplace for lenders and borrowers with borderless stable coins. And this is on what well, you guessed it, the Binance Smart Chain Network. Um, so you go to venus.io, don't go to venus.net, any other thing, that's venus.io. Um, there is a white paper which explains what Venus is. And looking over on DeFi Station, monitoring this TVL, $1 billion has flowed into the Binance Smart Chain since I made my video. As I said, TVL, price increase. Binance Smart Chain is a super highway for DeFi. This is starting to go parabolic, starting to go parabolic. And actually watching BNB's price, um, I did pick up um, some more in my bag when it was on the dip, sitting now at 75, 76. But let's not get distracted. Venus.io, what is it? Why would I want to do it? Well, Venus.io, in essence, allows you to stake crypto collateral and borrow so that you can leverage the borrowed money against it and buy other things or participate in other DeFi projects. Now, I'm going to keep this very simple so that you can get in and start earning. Okay, so you go to venus.io, you hit launch the app and we're going to get into it it looks like a lot is going on but in essence it's actually very simple you supply crypto collateral which allows you to mint stablecoin and the stablecoin can be traded for more bnb or other things in the binance smart chain place now um, by loaning out your collateral, you do earn an APY, which we see over here, USDC being the biggest, 24.49, um, BNB at 13.93. Um, and basically what they do is they will, um, you earn XVS, which is the governance token of Venus, okay? And then you also earn um, other interest paid in the native currency. So step one is to go to venus.io, hit launch the app, and then decide which collateral you want to provide. Now, keep in mind, whenever you leverage or put something up for collateral, the price can change, okay? So the safest collateral, let me just put this out here, is loaning a stable coin, okay? So let me repeat, the safest collateral is to loan a stable coin because your price fluctu your price will never fluctuate on the stable coin that much, which basically means you'll never get liquidated. So in essence, when you loan out your crypto, you mint the stable coin, your loan value will change if you provide one of these other assets. Your loan value will stay the same if you provide a stable coin. Okay, so let's just do it so that we understand it. So I've got about 50 BNB in my wallet. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to BNB. First step is to enable the asset, the collateral. Okay, so you're gonna stand do a simple transaction. Take a few seconds. and let that confirm. Now, you're gonna ask that question, why would I loan out my BNB? Ah, the magic of this is that in a bull market, if you think BNB is going to go up, you can loan out your BNB, mint stablecoin, get into other projects, buy more BNB, 
BNB price goes up, you then can pay your loan back with basically with the gains that you've made outside of the system and um, and then you've made money. So basically it's kind of like a derivative or using your money twice because it is staked in the system. So now that it's staked, I simply hit BNB and then as always, make sure you leave some BNB in your wallet. Otherwise you will not be able to transact on the Binance Smart Chain, okay? So I'm gonna hit supply and then I hit confirm. And then you just let that basically um, confirm. And basically what you're doing in this step is you're putting your money on the chain, okay? And then what's gonna happen after that confirms is your available credit is going to go up. So it says I have $2,200 in available credit and I've supplied $3,700. So each of these assets have a different collateral limit. It's going to vary from anywhere from 40 to 60 percent. I did not find documentation of that anywhere, but you can easily calculate it by taking this number divided by the supply balance. So supplying BNB has a max collateral level of 60 percent. So they give you 60 percent of whatever you supply to borrow. Okay, now question is, how much do I borrow of my credit? Well, that's where you have to be very careful. Um, so let's go to the second step. So now we've supplied BNB. It says it's over here. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So next we're going to go to mint. The minter is where you mint stablecoin based on your collateral or you repay your loan. Now, keep in mind, you cannot, let me repeat, cannot get your collateral out until your loan is paid off, okay? So that's a very important point because some people think, well, hey, I'll mint this VI, which is their version of the stablecoin, and then I'll take it and I'll buy BNB, and then I'll just loop back and resupply my leverage. The problem with resupplying your leverage is you, if, if BNB price goes down, quickly your collateralization rate is going your loan rate is going to go upside down and if your if your collateral is locked in the system hyper compounding then you will not be able to move it out so you'll see what i'm saying here in a second so next i go to mint repay and we're going to mint some stable coin so vi is the dollar dollar coin and it's pretty dope they actually have it so you just hit these buttons right here and it will add the native xvs and the vi to your wallet okay so um there is a safe max button okay so what the safe max does is it takes 40 percent of your available credit okay so 22 29 times 40 so 891. So the system tries to calculate. Remember, if you get to 100%, you can be liquidated. Let me repeat. If you get to 100%, you can be liquidated. So let's go ahead and mint up this coin. Okay. I've just minted some VI. Now, what is VI? I will leave links down there below on that. Um, but basically, VI is their stable coin, which does its best to stay pegged one to one to a dollar. Okay, but it's going to vary because it is a DEX. Now, I've seen this liquidity go up by a million dollars. So there's a premium on VI right now. It's worth a dollar one. Okay, so now basically what I have done is I have supplied BNB, I've minted a stable coin. And I can now go to PancakeSwap. And if I wanted to trade that VI, okay, I could buy more BNB. Okay, give it a second to populate. And it should say like 891 or whatever I borrowed. Okay, 891. So I could max this out and I could buy some BNB. Okay. I do wish these calculations would occur a little faster on PancakeSwap, but you know, and then you have to approve VI for trading, of course. And um, 
We'll do that. Six cents. Loving it, baby. Now, what I could do is let's say that I like cake. Okay, so I could use my leveraged coin, my stable coin, and I could buy some cake, and I could go over to the pools, and then I could go mine some more cake or mine some whatever. Okay, so, all right, now let's talk about the interest. So, while your, your collateral is staked, if you go over to XVS, XVS, like I said, is their native token, and I'll leave a bookmark down on that as well. This is using the PancakeSwap info token and then adding the address of the token. So Venus is at 33.98. Now, I could have taken my hyper compounded money and bought Venus. You got to be careful with Venus. This liquidity is still building, so you could get wrecked on this if you bought a whole bunch. Could it go up? It could, but it's a riskier maneuver, in my opinion, to um, buy Venus with your, um, you know, with your compounded, your minted die. Vi, that's die. <laughs> All right, vote. All right, so now that I am staked and this is running, as you can see, I've started earning interest, okay? So the interest is coming in as XVS. So you earn, basically you earn two types of interest in this case. You earn your token and you earn some XVS. So basically it's split in two. So let's go over to the white paper and we can see if we can get to the excuse cases, let's talk about the interest. Da, 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 da. Borrow, supply, synthetic stable coins, um, XPS token, controller contract, collateral value. Okay. Interest rates are designated for the, both the supply side and the borrowing side. Reserve factors, conclusion. Okay, it wasn't in there, but anyways. So, and then as I earn this XVS token, I can collect it. I can go over to PancakeSwap and I could cash my XVS in. So um, and then, um, or I could go to the vaults and I can stake my XVS for 71.59% interest, okay? So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Let's just go back over it again. Step one, supply an asset. Step two, go to mint. Step three, hit safe max. Mint some stable coin. And then you have VI in your wallet, which is the, the stable coin. And then you can take your VI and go pursue other DeFi's. Some strategies that you could do would be take your VI, flip it to BNB, wait for BNB to appreciate, pay back your loan after BNB has popped up. So let's say I bought some BNB, let's say I bought $891 with a BNB today, and then it, BNB goes to 100, okay? I then could, could shave off some profits, and I could pay back my loan, which will reduce this, okay? So now, here's what you're gonna see. This is the payback process. Okay, so that's, well that's, well, that's appreciating here. So I could say 50. Let's say 100 bucks. Okay, see how it's at 39%, 2230. Repay. Confirm. Okay, so one strategy would be stake your collateral, mint your stable coin, and then um, buy some BNB, wait for BNB to go up, um, and then pay back your loan. Another strategy, stake your BNB. Mint your stable coin, buy some cake, wait for cake to go up, pay back your loan. Stake your BNB, mint some stable coin, buy XVS. XVS goes back, pay off your loan. So what you see is basically this system allows you to, to use your capital at a safe level of 100, about 140% to basically leverage your DeFi to make more gains. But let's talk about um, let's talk about the whole concept of getting 
liquidated. <laughs> All right, so I actually made a quick little calculator on this. I put in the current BNB price, how many BNB I staked, how much minted VI, 891. My total portfolio is 36.75. This auto calculates. We know the BNB borrow limit for BNB is 60%. So it allows me to borrow $2,200. Um, net borrow limit up to 100%. I'm sitting at 40.41. But down here, adjusted collateral. Let's just say that BNB price crashes. Okay, I put in $50. My total portfolio is now $2,400. My net borrow limit has increased to 60%. Remember, at 100%, you get liquidated. So what happens if BNB goes, how low would BNB have to go for me to get liquidated? So this is just a what-if scenario. That is, if BNB crashed from $75 to $30, I would be at 101%, and I would, be, I would end up getting liquidated. So that is what you have to be careful on this, is that you don't ratchet up your credit too high. So, I mean, if you really wanted to be safe, when you go to Mint, I would do 25% of this number. So you take that number, okay? So let's let's just let's just reset this whole thing, do it all over again, and I'll show you what I'm talking about with the 25%. All right. So now I'm at 0%, 2,200. So all you have to do is take this orange number, 2,243, and multiply it by 0 0.25, 560. So if I put 560 in and I mint my buy, okay, that should put me at 25%. I'll leave a link down to the liquidation um, calculator. Keep in mind that this is just for BNB. Different assets have different values. Um, in them, and you just have to be mindful of that. So let's see what happens here. Should go, okay, 24%, 25%. So that's it. Basically, Venus.io is similar to Compound, which is on ETH, and it is used to leverage your crypto safely. Again, not financial advice. You can have hammer candles that can occur in the markets and you could be liquidated up to 50% with a 10% additional tacked onto that. So that's why you have to mitigate and keep an eye on this and be active and make sure your borrow percent never goes to 100%. And like I said, the system by default is 40% of your credit. Um, but if you want to be extra safe, I would do 20 to 25%. Um, and like I said, I went over those different scenarios where you can use the leveraged um, stable coin to get into other DeFi, chase farms, do whatever you want. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, and like I said, you can vote and that's where you get your um, Venus earned. You can stake um, your you can stake in the vault. You can stake Vi. Um, and then your XVS, like I said, you could do whatever you wanted to. One strategy would be to hodl your XVS for um, price appreciation. Another might be to sell it and pay off your loan with your APY from your XVS. So it really, really varies. It's just like there's a million different strategies that you want to do. My base strategy is to stake BNB, mint my VI, get more BNB, keep it outside of this system and just speculate on BNB becoming the new ETH. So like, subscribe. I hope you liked today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. As always, this is Crypto. So if you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.